today's episode, we're going to be having a look at Harry the Honda. Just, just to give you a little walk around of the car, give you a little heads up on what's happening with it. Um, 52 plate Honda Civic Type R. She has, well, he has um, lowered springs on, K and N Typhoon kit. That's pretty much it. Oh, power flow exhaust, and we are missing seat belts, and we have a set of harnesses in. That's it. Pretty much it for modification wise. However the car well let's just say the car's used daily and it's a bit of a sorry state um it's got well we'll we'll start and create a list i think overall the car's actually not bad I quite like the car my my wife whose car it is absolutely adores it um but just starting at the front here you've got i believe it needs a pair of strut tops it says a lot for the roads around here because believe that's where the clunk and the banging's coming from and it's pretty much the same with my car you can just see outside the door there there as you can see it's, I would say it's led a hard life it still starts we only ever once broke down one more that was um, just last year we had to do a timing chain on the timing chain just gave up it just stopped dead altogether uh, left, a, <laughs> left a stranded in the car park um, I believe the clutch is on its way out uh, so that is a job we'll be tackling in the future episode. Um, you know, it's just little things on the on the car that's, that's not taken too well. As I say, I believe the strut tops are. Uh, I believe the strut tops are gone, but we'll there's again we'll tackle them. Um, other than that, mechanically wise, under here, that's pretty much all there is. Um, we'll fit the facelift headlights in because the headlights that were in, I'll be quite honest, were absolutely pants. Um, didn't really, well, let's face it, you'd be, be better off driving with a pair of candles at the front. Um, brakes, as you can see, the brakes are, well, yeah. The brakes have maybe seen better days. Um, we're gonna do a full overhaul on the brakes. I know that this, the near side caliper is actually sticking. Um, that's on the front, so we'll do a reseal on both of them calipers and new set of discs and pads. Um, the rear, the handbrake just doesn't work at all. And it could do with, I don't know if you can see it in there, because the light's a bit bad still. The discs are a bit shot in the back, so discs and pads on the back. Quite probably a reseal on the rear calipers as well. Um, needs a bit of TLC on the bodywork. It could actually do with could actually do with a new bonnet to be fair. The bonnets, uh, let's see, you can't really see in this light. The bonnets, the, the bonnet, the car used to be a track, to, uh, track car, as I said. Um, so yeah, you know, it's kind of, it's had a hard life, um, but still worth saving. As I say, the car's an absolute blast to drive. Um, sorry, yeah, back, <laughs> back of the list and um, oil leaks, yes, we do need to address the oil leaks. I don't know if we can see um, the oil leaks where it's been parked, so we'll ping that one up as well. Beyond that, the car's actually not in a bad state. Um, just wants a little bit of a little bit of TLC. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know if you can see once again the light's not fantastic. Two seconds, see if we can do something about the light. There we go, that's better. So you can see, yeah. Uh, just getting a little bit, just a little bit tired in places, you know. Um, but I mean, once again, generally overall, she's you know she's worth saving. Just a few little bits of trim here and there, um, which I'm sure we can we can source and sort out. The other thing that winds me up quite a bit is the seats. Um, wrong side. Winds us up a lot, you know, when you're letting people in out the back. The seat, obviously because it was a track car, I don't know whether the regulations meant that this had to be cut. 
So to, put, to move the seats forward, you've got to flip the handle here, which means every time somebody gets at the back, you've got to reset the, the, how far back the seat goes and the rake on the seat. Really, really frustrating. The only other thing that I would like to put in, I would like to put some seat belts back in. Um, as much as these seat belts are nice, I would still leave them in. Sometimes a bit of a chew on, it's easier sometimes just to grab the seatbelt from the side, you know. But yeah, other than that, generally, you can see the car's just kind of a little bit, you know, just a little bit tired. We'll probably end up doing is put the pair of seats in, because obviously you've got the wear over there and the thing, so let's pick that up, seats. But I mean, other than that, basically, that's the car. Um, she was in a whack, she had a little nudge um, a couple of years ago, thanks to some really... Ooh, Books. Thanks to Sir. In a whack a couple of year ago, um, thanks to some clever human being who decided, in all his wisdom, that he would drive home after having one too many shandies. Um, resulted in a new wing and a new door. I'll put some pictures up in a second. I mean, this is the aftermath of the door. You can sort of see where he's just basically took the whole side off, you know. Not get rid of it because you know you never know when parts are going to come in handy the glass and that but eventually i will strip that down and just save the bits and scrap the shell but other than that yeah oh um last couple of things we'll ping them up uh rear wheel bearing i believe the rear wheel bearing has gone um we'll ping that up uh also it needs um heater resistor um the heaters just kind of blow randomly when when they do and don't want to work Heater resistor, I believe I've been told it's this part here. Um, we're gonna change that in a moment and just see if that if that actually cuts the mustard. So yeah. That's the walk around of Harry. As I say, it's he's not a he's not a bad vehicle. Um it does the job. I mean the wife the wife uses it uses them every day to get to and from work, you know, school runs, the kids, all this sort of jazz. Um yeah, it does the job. One last thing as well, <laughs> speaking as this was a pass shelf out of it. Now obviously being a daily school runner, this pass shelf comes in and out, in and out, in and out. And as you can see, it just rips the terminals off. Um, see them on the other set as well, they're just, they're just ripping off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna repair them speakers, refit them into the existing mountain locations in the back rear quarter panels. And I've already gone about And replace the back for a standard pass shelf, which um, don't don't get us wrong. Don't get us wrong by any means. Six by nines had their place in parcel shelves. Generally, it was back in the nineties. Um, not something really you want you want out and about there now. So yeah, that's that's the walk around. Nice. So we change the hub. Big nut out the middle, knock this cap off, take the nut off, the hub will come off, obviously don't forget, we'll take the disc off, get the little screw, take the disc off, and the only other thing we've got to do is, uh, I don't know if you can see or not, put this nut up inside here, and there's another one around the top to get this whole, whole caliper assembly off. So let's get on and get it done. Check the right part. 
I've stood where we're winning. Yeah, looks alright, Reese. Right. Reese. Put that in there. And with that, if you get a nice new nut with it, you've got to knock in. Knock in to lock it in. So I'll pop that back in the bag. Keep the new nut. Put that back in the bag. Put all that in the box and that'll all go back on the shelf. Ready to go just in case I've got the wrong side. Then I can swap them over the other side as well for this one. And the free fitting is the exact reverse order of taking it apart. The only thing I didn't do is that should have really come off there. Yeah, that's off there now. The only thing I should really have done is the, the hose is pulled up a bit tight, the flexi hose. So what I might do is actually take the caliper itself off the caliper carrier and bolt the two back on separate. Um, it might make for a little bit easier getting the back together again because as you can see I struggled a little bit to get it off. But other than that, yep, reverse order. There we go, that's simple as that change of wheel bearing and before anybody says anything, yes I know the discs are shot um, Right, and he complains about them the discs are shot to be fair, as we spoke earlier the brakes are shot all round um, future episode we've got something in plan for that I think we're going to change full set of discs and pads and reseal the calipers, new handbrake cables, full overhaul of the brake system um, just to make sure the car's good and safe so there we go, that's how to change a rear wheel bearing. One of the other issues that we have with the car, um, the blowers will randomly work as and when they please. Um, just, you can be driving in the street, they'll come on. Uh, if you start up them on, they'll just not work. And you can imagine, a bit of a nightmare this time of year, especially with the, the, the frost and the cold weather, trying to keep your windows defrosted. It's a bit chilly having to keep putting the window to and keep the, keep the frost out. Um, but I've been assured, well not assured, but I've been suggested that this little doobery is the cause of the problem, the heating resistor. Um, now I've managed to pick one up from the breakers, let's fingers crossed, fingers crossed, hope this one is as good as it should be. Um, so I'll quickly just bash in, get that change, shouldn't take too long, just a simple matter of moving the ECU out of the way. Um, Two bolts, you can see two bolts, two bolts and a plug, in and changed, ECU back in, jobs are good, let's get on and get that done. Let's see if we can try and do this, I haven't got the best of anything to be fair, best of light or anything, but it's in behind the glove box, all you got to do is pop the glove box down, just pull each side in, and then, there we are, it reveals the ECU, now it's this, that, Hold on, let's try and that 10 mil bolt there, and there's another two up underneath, one there, one over there, and the resistor's in behind it. I'll quickly get that wrapped out now. There we go, with the ECU out the way, you can see right in the back there, that plug, a little screw there, and a little screw, you can't quite see it, just keep it in there, and that little plug changes, so all I would do is just literally take two screws out, leave the wire on, because that'll give you something easy to hold it by, pull it out, so it's handy, change the plug, pop it back in again, jobs are good. So there we go, that's the walk around, a little reduction in the hurry, hopefully, um, next few months, I don't know, possibly even yeah, we'll uh, we'll whittle around and get rid get uh, get around to doing all them repair jobs that we've mentioned. Um, obviously, I've already done the rear wheel bearing, and I've done the this side. I've done the um, heater blower resistor, 
um, report back, we'll update in a later video and we'll, we'll I'll let you know then whether that's actually fixed the problem or whether I'm getting the wrong side of the wheel bearing and whether the resistor's actually fixed the problem. Uh, the master plan is, master plan is to just repair and replace anything I can. Um, we're looking to try and keep it on the road but obviously if, if there's an option to upgrade or replace with performance parts because a lot of the times these performance parts are better and they'll outlast the standard OEM parts and then that's the master plan that's what we're looking to try and do but obviously within reason it's not like a super deluxe sports car that's you know getting tracked every other weekend it is literally still the end day a family car that gets does the school run and nips the nips the shops once a week so there we go that's it for this episode we'll uh, we'll conclude then next week uh, not sure about next week we're actually we're actually on holiday next week uh, for a week so I might possibly miss a week never know I might update well I might have a little little video up my sleeve just to just update just to keep things going so until then see you next time Thank you.